North Dakota offers an abundance of natural gifts from the land to share and savor. Today, we'll find out how to make a sunny array of sunflower recipes with North Dakota culinary couple, Sarah and Eric Watson. To put you in a sunny mood today, we're going to show you how to make some fantastic foods using the North Dakota sunflower. We're making a simple salad that is simply delicious. It is a sunflower seed brittle salad. And I'm making the vinaigrettes. A North Dakota sunflower field is one of nature's most beautiful and wondrous sights during the blooming season. The Great Plains State is one of our nation's leading producers of sunflowers, used to make snacks and sunflower seed butter. The first thing we're going to do is make our sunflower seed brittle. Sunflower seed brittle is very simple to make using only four ingredients, butter, sugar, salt, and sunflower seeds. The first step is buttering your sheet pan. I put a little bit of parchment paper on my sheet pan because it makes it very easy to break up the sunflower seed brittle and also it keeps it from sticking to the pan, which makes it much easier when it comes to cleaning. The next step is to caramelize our sugar. It's important to stir this quite constantly if it turns too dark, you'll be able to taste almost a burnt taste, which is what you do not want in your brittle. Our next step is toasting our sunflower seeds. We're gonna melt the butter, and let's go ahead and add our sunflower seeds. The sunflower seeds, we just want to give a little stir, get them kind of toasty. We're not wanting them to get too dark. We want to avoid that burnt taste. And then we're gonna go back to the sugar. Once the process starts, it happens really fast and it becomes a liquid form. We're going to add our toasted sunflower seeds. We're going to give this a quick stir and get it onto our buttered sheet pan. You want to get it on there as quickly as possible. As, as soon as it comes off the heat, it does start to solidify. We're just going to spread this out and it will crisp up perfectly and we'll break it apart and put it into our salad. I'm going to set this aside to cool, and while it's cooling, Eric is going to make the vinaigrette. All right, so we're gonna make this vinaigrette very quickly here. We're gonna start by combining our ingredients. So we're gonna start with the, our vinegar, apple cider vinegar today. We're gonna add pure maple syrup. Then we're gonna add some Dijon mustard which grows in North Dakota. In addition to that, we're gonna add some finely chopped shallots. We're gonna add some salt and pepper to that as well. While we're mixing, we wanna make sure that we're mixing vigorously at the same time as we're adding our oil. So basically just stirring as vigorously as we can to emulsify these ingredients together. All right, and at this point, we're just gonna to season to our liking and we're all set and good to go. We're moving on to finally making our salad. The first thing I'm going to do is slice up some Brussels sprouts. These Brussels sprouts are from the farmer's market. Love to go there to pick up our produce. When I make this salad for folks that do not like Brussels sprouts, they oftentimes don't even realize they're in the salad. What I'm going to do is just put them right on our fresh greens. Our next step is to slice our apple. I like to just do nice thin slices. I like the way it looks. Some folks like to do a nice diced apple for the mouthfeel in a salad. We're gonna add our golden raisins. That gives the salad a nice little sweet surprise. And a little onion to get uh, savory. This is a little bit of hard boiled egg. The star of the salad are these beautiful locally grown sunflower sprouts. They have a sweet nutty taste and a little bit of a crunch. Next, we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. It really balances out that beautiful nutty flavor in the sunflower seeds. Remember that sunflower seed brittle we made earlier? Well, now it's time to use it. We're simply going to crunch it up onto the salad as so. It adds a delicious, sweet, nutty crunch. Next, we're going to drizzle it with our maple cider Dijon dressing that Eric made earlier. We are almost ready to have lunch. Let's eat. I made a wonderful sunflower seed butter, which is a great nut-free alternative to go with our rolls. Using the best ingredients makes all the difference. 
I use locally sourced when I can, from produce to seasonings. Just like the heads of sunflowers turn with the sun throughout the day, this sunflower seed brittle salad and sunflower seed butter will turn heads at mealtime for a taste that will brighten anyone's day. To find local products and producers, visit the local food map on the North Dakota Department of Agriculture's website. I'm Sarah Watson with Eric Watson. Thanks for watching and here's to great food and great times, fresh from North Dakota. Music